Third annual Juneteenth Festival is returning to Colorado Springs this weekend. It starts tomorrow. News 5's Ashley Portillo is looking into how that festival is celebrating diversity and culture in our community. The three-day event featuring musicians, artists, and a variety of food vendors. We kind of have a, a fusion of that East Texas barbecue and that that soul food from the South. Darian Latimer owns Latimer's Kitchen and Catering. As a black entrepreneur, it's his first time as a vendor at the festival. And I think we want to just show the broader community that, hey, there's a there's another part of our community that maybe you haven't become familiar with. Terry Josiah Sharp helped organize the event, saying their mission to bring people together from all backgrounds to celebrate black culture and diversity. So it isn't just a a black culture expression, it's a united voice from all of the different cultures here in the city coming together to share and uplift black voices and black culture. Sharp said last year nearly 10,000 people attended the festival at America the Beautiful Park. And this year it comes right after the city's first elected black mayor took office. But because we have just elected our first black and immigrant mayor, Yemi Mobilade, uh, there is some historical significance to this, to this particular event. For many, including Latimer, it also shows growth and progress in the city. We have not celebrated Juneteenth as a community in this way, um, not in our history in Colorado Springs. So the fact that we are getting together on such a large scale, um, yes, it's, it's, it's progress for us. It's a good thing. Okay, had a little technical difficulty there. The official Juneteenth holiday falls on June 19th, which is Monday. In 1863, President Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation. Juneteenth honors the date two and a half years later on June 19th, 1865, when the last Confederate community of slaves in Galveston, Texas learned they were free. Mike.